On this channel, I usually focus on violin tutorials, violin how-to tips, and anything that's kind of related to violin in general when it comes to the news or other kind of content. But in today's video, I want to share a little bit of a personal note on what it actually takes to become a professional musician. Because let's face it, there isn't one direction that a musician can take to have a career as a professional musician. And today, I'm going to be sharing my experience and some of the things that have worked for me and some of the lessons that I've learned along the way to help get to where I am. Number one is to do what you love and love what you do. This is the, the root of all the things that involve becoming a professional musician. My personal story is when I actually held the violin, it wasn't my choice. My mom was like, okay, I'm throwing a violin at you and you are going to start playing. And back then when I was you know, three years old, I really couldn't understand the whole philosophy behind becoming a musician. All I did was just like play the violin. And I know for me as a young student, Back when I was three years old, I enjoyed it. I liked playing the violin and eventually, and that really grew into a passion of mine. And that's something that I really enjoyed and loved to do. And I still love doing it, not past tense, but I still love playing the violin. Because if you do what you love, you will love what you do. Because if you're treating music as a work, as a job, as your J-O-B, then you'll never be satisfied because you'll be a slave to the paycheck. But if you enjoy what you do, if you enjoy playing the violin, if you enjoy teaching, if you enjoy performing, and you know when you become a professional musician, you wanna be able to reap in the rewards of a paycheck, but you don't wanna be a slave to it. So that is number one, do what you love, then love what you do. Because if you love what you do, you'll never have to work a single day in your life. As a matter of fact, making this video, I taught for like six and a half hours straight. And I had all different sorts of students from adult beginners to um, you know beginners that are like five years old. And you know those are the fun students. But I feel okay. I don't feel so tired because this kind of job, this kind of work really gives me energy. So if you really like playing the violin, or if you really like playing your instrument, you won't feel tired, you'll feel buzzed, you'll feel energized, you will want to do more and learn more. And you want to be in a profession, whether it's music or non-music related, that will kind of inspire you and will keep you wanting more information to become better at this one skill set. For me, it's you know trying to make these YouTube videos so that way when I see something in my classroom, I can give it out to you guys in in the YouTube verse, you know, in the YouTube videos. I want that for you. I want to be able to create more videos and more content for you. And this is a great way to touch the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. The second thing I want to emphasize is to not compare yourself to others. And if you compare yourself to others, you're automatically thinking that there's someone better than you. And therefore, that doesn't give what you do value. Well, let me tell you, folks, there will always be someone better than you <laughs> because there's always someone better than me. You know, I could always find a teacher or a pedagogue that is much better at explaining things than I am. You know, I can do my best and I can always learn, right? I'm always improving. And I try to put that situation and I try to reframe it as opposed to, oh, this person is so good. I'm never going to be as good as this person. From a more logical point of view, I try to look at this person like on Instagram, whether it's like an Instagram reel, I see they're playing and I go, wow, they're doing some things like really well. I wonder if I can incorporate that in my practice or if there's something that I can incorporate musically that they're doing that I'm not. But I've been struggling with my uh, violin lessons on this particular topic. Try to reframe that conversation in your head because the truth is we struggle with this on a daily basis as musicians. And becoming a professional musician, you have to figure out how to kind of block the noise and try to do your own thing. My journey to becoming a professional classical musician, there were some steps that I did need to take, like I did need to go to school and I did need to graduate with a degree to you know, create value in the classical music world. If you start comparing yourself to others, that'll create some negative space in your head that you really don't have time for. There are other things in life that are really more interesting than scrolling up or down or tapping or liking or loving, whatever the case may be on the digital um, social media platforms and you just focus on you focus on you if you want to become a professional musician because you're going to be the one practicing you're not going to be watching someone else practice but if you want to be successful you need to practice you need to put in the time to actually 
become successful. Because if you don't compare yourself to others, that leads me to the next point, is that becoming committed to the process of becoming a professional musician. As I said earlier, my path to becoming a classical musician and a professional classical musician was not a traditional one. However, I stayed committed to the process that my teachers and my mentors have taught me. Make sure you take care of the music, make sure you practice, make sure you do your due diligence so that word of mouth, is uh, playing in your favor, you're getting gigs, you're getting professional opportunities to perform. And that is what happened to me because if you just stay the course, if you stay committed to the entire process, your career will set off in a very unexpected way. And when you're watching this video, you might be feeling like a little down with your career. You feel like you're stuck or you feel like you don't know how to go from here. But let me tell you that I've had many of those situations within the last 10 years and just stay the course, be committed, and maybe this is a video that is to help you get off your butt and practice or to help you become better, you know, better at sight reading, better at intonation, better at networking, better at just being a better performer. You know, there are so many areas that we can always tweak and be better at, but there is no perfect formula to becoming a professional musician. If you believe in what you're doing, then everything will take care of itself. And as long as you're committed to the process, that'll work for you. All this to say that at the last thing I recommend you do is just to have a good attitude. Last but not least, and once you have the commitment, you understand what it takes and you are already in the process of becoming a musician, you're in school or you're watching this video, you want to have a good attitude throughout the entire process. Nobody wants to work with someone with a bad attitude. Trust me, I've played with many people who just are like Debbie Downers in the rehearsal space and I don't wanna work with them. You know, sometimes I don't have an option because I work with this uh, particular person. I don't know, um, I'm not thinking of anyone in particular, but I'm just, just throwing that example out there like in an orchestra setting. Like I can't control you know, that person being there. But I know I can control my own thoughts. I know I can control having a good attitude towards the music, towards the conductor, towards my colleagues. Nobody hates a person who's always in a good mood or has a good attitude, you know, because that good attitude is contagious. And if you are in a good mood, if you have a good attitude, you're gonna spread that throughout the entire orchestra. And as a result, you have better performances, you'll have a more enjoyable time while you're actually performing, while you're actually playing and earning a living as a professional musician. Because again, life will hit you in so many different directions that you don't even expect. Like right now, there are some personal things in my life that are going on that I'm just trying to keep a positive attitude. So sometimes when we look at the social media accounts that, you know, these pretty people playing their instruments and trying to, you know, gain more followers and more subscribers and more likes. That's half of the equation, but you don't know what's really happening behind the scenes, you know, like they are trying to put their best self forward online. But at the end of the day, every person is struggling with at least something. So have a good attitude, stay committed to the process. And I know for a fact that you're going to be better in your journey into becoming a professional musician. Share some of your stories down in the comments section below. I love reading the comments of different YouTube subscribers and YouTube viewers about their journey as a professional musician or if they're struggling. I love to hear from you down below and let's get this conversation going. And if we're meeting for the first time, again, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Um, I do a lot of violin content, violin how-to tutorials, and just other violent videos on this channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, so that you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks so much, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't seen any violent tutorials on my channel, I'm gonna leave some videos over here and right over here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.